everyone, it's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel today. Um, if you're watching this the day my video goes up, it's Sunday, so happy Sunday to you. Uh, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you'll stick around a bit and see if my videos are something you like. Uh, usually they're stitching and lots of jabber. Um, I don't think there's gonna be too much this week. You never know with me. Um, anyway, uh, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and seeing what's up with me um, this week, actually, or what was up with me. What's going on in my life? How's that? I need to show you the progress I made on cardinal points. Okay, if you're new, I've been working on this chart, cardinal points by Long Dog Samplers. So sorry for the glare. Um, and the ratty nails. I just realized I've got to get those. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Okay, so this is cardinal points. It's not focusing very well for me, and I'm not going to worry about it. It's from Long Dog Samplers. And I am working on page five. Um, I did finish, no, page six. I did finish page five last night and started on page six. And here we are. Um, I'm so excited. I finished this urn right over here, right there, and the flowers on it last night. And it was early enough that I was able to bring this line over and then of course bring this down and stitch over to here and then add the grapes and finish off, I think four of those. So made some great progress last night. Um, I just have two flowers. Uh, I think they're mirrors image of these right to add in here. And then it's just border. And then I got to, I got to decide what I want to put in the middle. Um, I may, I may have a finish by Sunday. Uh, actually I was hoping to have a finish by, by my next, video this video when it goes up on Sunday so I don't know um, we'll see if I could have a finish by Friday that would be amazing because if it's finished Friday night then I get to record it on Saturday and it will go up Sunday if it's not finished by Friday night it'll be in the next video um, but I, I'd love to really get this done um, because it's just it's just the border and those two flowers and then these words are going to take me a little bit of time. Um, and I just noticed a spot on the fabric and I don't know if it's from some like a floss fluff or dirt and I sure hope it's not dirt. <sighs> but I don't want to touch it right now because I do feel like my hands are a little dirty. If I'm looking a little raggedy, it's because today um, uh, Brad needed help with the motorhome. He wanted to uh, sanitize the water tank in it. And that was an undertaking. Like I thought it was going to be kind of easy. Mm -mm. And then because he had the motorhome out of the garage, we de he decided this is a perfect time to clean it up. Y'all, when he gets in the mood to clean, he he's not about cleaning. He's about shifting everything from one side of the garage to the other like re reorganizing but all we're doing is moving stuff from one side to the other side that is literally what we did today and i laugh because he gets in these moods where he's like it's such a mess and i need to organize it and so basically he clears off a, a shelf on the other side of the garage and we move everything to it and that is what we did today it just tickles my fancy when he gets in these moods um, anyway, so it was it was a little warm today, um, and it's not June weather for here. So our little warm it says it's only it's only 95 outside. Uh, yeah, that's it. But it goes up from here, and uh, we are not complaining because normally we're in low hundreds, um, about 105 to 110 normally this time of year. Um, and I know some of you who aren't used to those higher temps are probably freaking out a little bit. It's okay. It's, um, I, I just realized I didn't put my phone on do not disturb. So that's why I'm not looking at you. Um, there really is something to that dry heat thing. Um, when I lived in, 
near, uh, I'm going to say a little north of Fresno up in the mountains. Um, like if you've been around that area of Fresno, like a hundred degrees in Fresno is probably, I'd say 110 here, uh, maybe 115. So it, the temps are a little different. Um, and, and your blood really does thin here. Like I can go somewhere where it's 70 degrees and I need a jacket, a hoodie, plus the jacket, like fur socks, boots, whatever. I mean, I'm freezing at 70 degrees. Just to give you an idea, Fahrenheit, I should say, of, of the difference, how much your blood really does thin in these kind of climates. Uh, so yeah, uh, it was warm outside, um, but it, it felt good to me, actually. I, I liked soaking up a bit of the sun. Wear your sunscreen, y'all. Have to do that. I have to say that. I worked in a dermatologist's office for a while in the lab, and y'all get your bumps and moles and weird things checked out for real. Because we've had patients who didn't, and like when they go to get Mohs surgery or whatever done, like they get in body parts having to cut off. So get checked. That's my PSA for summer. Go get your skin checked, please. Because I love y'all and I care about you. And so I just got to say that. Get your skin checked, wear sunscreen. Okay, so tomorrow there's not going to be a video. Um, the only reason is, is we have to take one of our cars to Vegas uh, because that's where our, our model dealership is um, because there was like a recall on something and they, they just got to fix something in the computer system. So as much as I would love to go to Stitcher's Paradise because I've never been there, um, it's just a day trip for us. We're just going to go up. They said it should only be like an hour and a half and then we're going to come back home and I have no business buying anything right now because all right I have so many whips and then I've had a couple questions so I'm gonna address this right now these first two those are kitted up ready to stitch these first two cubbies this one and this one this is some of my whips the rest of my whips are in this blue one and those are patterns like I have zero business being in there shopping right now and so um, no stitching no stitchers paradise um and pretty much we're just going to be at the dealership i am bringing my stitching it's not going to be cardinal points it would be so awesome if i could but it's too big to carry around it's not a travel piece um but i'm gonna bring a little luck um, by lizzie kate i'll have a finish on that tomorrow and i'm gonna bring seize the day i have not been posting any progress on that because mania i focused on only cardinal points and um one of the requirements from sally of caterpillar cross stitch when i got that the whole kit for free was i needed to show progress every two weeks and i've been bad so i am actually going to work on that um, once a little luck is finished tomorrow and so and it's like three hours to Vegas and and back so that's six hours of stitching time in the car I'll be done with a little luck probably about an hour in and then the rest of it sees the day so I'm actually gonna have three three different pieces to show you this week it's amazing right um, that's just how it worked out so anyway next check-in will be Wednesday is my point um, so that's it for today um, I will check in with you Wednesday and we'll see how far I got with everything. Cardinal points tonight, little luck tomorrow, and seize the day tomorrow as well. Till then, bye. Hello everyone, it's Wednesday, June 5th, and I'm so excited for today's segment. Um, I, I almost recorded yesterday just for a few minutes before we ran out the door, but I didn't have time. Um, I really wanted to, but the mister was a little anxious to, to get on our trip. Um, we drove to Vegas, left here around 9.18, uh, got there around 12.18. Um, the car was only there for like an hour and a half. We walked down to Del Taco to get lunch, and um, and I, I didn't get my usuals because those were lots of points. For my usual stuff I just got two tacos the value tacos um, in the hard shell I don't like that very much but it was less points so that's all that matters um, anyway and then we went back waited like another 30 minutes at the dealership got a car and drove straight home 
so there's no messing around or whatever. Um, we actually packed a bag in case we decided to stay overnight, but the lure of home and comfy couch and that was just greater than let's head down to the strip and <laughs> okay don't get mad don't get offended but we normally stay at hooters <laughs> because it's just off strip but barely and so you can still walk to everything there and it's cheaper than normal but we just didn't feel like it this time we're like home we're home buddies i and i don't even feel bad about that like my husband's always apologizing because we don't go anywhere and i'm looking at him like why do you want to go anywhere? Like, I can just sit and stitch here. I'm happy. Uh, so, anyway, that's what we're doing. Um, before I forget, just popped in my head, I have had a ton, a ton of new subscribers in the past, like, five days. If you're watching, please tell me where y'all have coming from because I don't even know. Um, and I got quite a few comments on my on my this sewing room uh, reveal video so I don't know if someone mentioned that or what but um, and I'm really behind on my floss tube I have to admit that I'm I'm so far behind um, when I get really stressed out like I was a few weeks ago I can't can't have jabber <laughs> seems funny right with me the jabberer I just can't have a lot of that in the background I just need music or like a TV or movie, a TV show or a movie that I, I just know so it just becomes like white noise in the background because my mind is already so busy I cannot take in anymore. Um, and then coming down from, um, I, I had some personal issues I was having to deal with um, unrelated to Callie's graduation or anything um, as well. and. And so I, I, I just had to stop with watching Floss Tube for a while and just put on like nothing I had to think about. And so I'm really behind. Uh, so I hope I can figure out who either mentioned my channel or what because I, I'm not kidding y'all. There's been a ton of new subscribers and I'm so grateful that you all are here. And um, if you're one of the newest people, um, I hope my videos are something you enjoy. I know I said that at the beginning, but I, I truly do hope that, um, that you get something out of it. Um, and it's not just me talking to a camera like it is in my reality, whatever. Okay. So yesterday I got to get to get to what happened yesterday. So we're in the car and I told you the other day that I was going to work on a little luck and that I was pretty sure I'd be able to finish it in an hour. I was way wrong. It was like two hours, um, but that was okay. I had forgotten I had the um, those little, um, these right here. I was, I had everything done except for this bottom line right here, and then I only had one of these corners done on that leaf there. So I had to, I hope that, focuses for you. I had to finish the three corners on the last flower and then I had to add two colors, stitches in the center, and then add beads. Y'all, I beaded in the car. You should have seen me. It took me like a, at least two minutes each time to try to get one bead on my needle in the bag with the bumpy road and try not to lose the bead. And this bead the last one I grabbed, there were only two beads left in the bag and I grabbed it and went to slide it down and it got stuck on the eye of the needle. I was like, no, why, why does this one have to be the tight one? Um, so I had to take it off, got the other bead in it and it slid down over the needle. Thank goodness, the eye. Um, and yes, I put the horseshoe on that way. Now in the chart, I'm gonna see if I can take it out of the bag so it doesn't give glare and hopefully will focus better. On the chart right there, the horseshoe they have is hanging upside down. There you go. My shaky hands don't ever help. But I know that if you hang a horseshoe in your house, you hang it the other way, like a cup. So the luck goes in and stays in. And I just could not 
put that horseshoe on upside down. And so it's, it's facing up. So yes, it's not like it should be on the chart, but this is the way that felt right to me. So I'm so happy it's done. I mean, it's June and not March, but I'll have this ready to finish at some point in my life. I have so many things I need to get finished. Um, but that's done. I have a finish. I love it. And later in this video, I'm going to be giving away this chart. Um, it will not have the charm. That charm was actually gifted to me by Vicki uh, of um, Stitch and Button. I had purchased this chart on Stash Unload, so it didn't come with the charm, but it came with some beads. So I'm going to find some yellow beads. I have a bunch in my stash. I will refill the bead bag. Um, so it will come with the beads and the chart but not the charm. If I happen by Hobby Lobby soon and I find a horseshoe charm, I'll add it in there, but I don't think I'm gonna make it that way. Um, it'd be nice if I could, but. Anyway, so after I finish that, um, just look for the giveaway towards the end of the video. I pulled out my Seize the Day Stitch Along piece and I started working on this one. Now I had everything done except for this cabana beach hut at the copa okay never mind uh everybody else is singing that now you're welcome um i am stitching this piece in hand i decided to make this my learn how to stitch in hand piece and the stitching goes so much faster so i did that stitching um while we were waiting at the dealership for that short amount of time and then on the way home um as far as stitching in hand i like it a lot um, but I I enjoy sewing doing a lot of hand sewing I enjoy doing English paper piecing I love when I make quilts and get to tacking down the binding to the back I love to do it by hand I mean it's hours and hours of hand sewing it's something I truly enjoy so I really like the stitching method the only thing is that I have to say is when you're stitching in hand, you're holding your fabric constantly in your hand all the time. And so for me to stitch here, I have to scrunch up like this and then to place the needle, you know, I'm kind of working it all over my, my hands are all over the piece is my point. Um, so the only pieces I will probably, if I ever stitch in hand again, are pieces that I know when I'm done, um, I can give a good washing to and the threads won't run so it has to be something stitched with DMC um, and and be fabric that I'm okay with um, washing at the end this is why I wanted to check in yesterday um, this is how far I am y'all okay so on Monday night um, I can't remember where I left y'all, but I, I finished this border and added uh, most all the, the, um, like the stems off. Um, last night, yes, last night I came home and I put, actually put all the, you know, the outline around all these leaves and the little tiny leaves off the vine there. So all, oops. <laughs> all that got added in last night. Um, that's just one color. And then I was able to add in um, one, two, three, four flowers and then connected the green border there. That's a ton of stitching, y'all. All I have left to do is add two, three, four, six flowers and do this, connect the black bottom corner and the words. That's it. I'm, I'm almost there. Um, so tonight I'll definitely get those six done. I will start coming down onto the corner. I don't think I'll finish it. That takes a little bit of time. That's a bit of space to get stitched plus the little dragonfly in there. Um, but it would be really great to get this almost done. So then on Friday night, all I have to do is finish this and add that whatever I'm going to do. I'm actually going to get some graph paper and get working on that. Probably if I, uh, yeah, I won't be able to get to that. Today's only Wednesday. I, uh, 
yeah, tonight I'll get the flowers done uh, and start the black. Thursday I'll be able to finish the black corner and then probably Thursday night I'll have plenty of time to chart out what I want to say in this area. Um, and I'm not sure, one of you had a really great idea of having threads entwined on there and that'd be really cool to have the shop name here. Um, threads entwined and then maybe stitched by Christine or sea slaughter and be able to put the date in somewhere. Maybe I can just stitch the date down in here like 2019 or find it. I don't know. I'm going to play around with the charting on that and see what I could do. There's a lot of room there. Um, I may have to change the font from what it is up here, but we'll see. I'm, I'm so jazzed to be this far. Super excited y'all. Yes. I have one finish already and I anticipate another finish by Friday. This will be finished this weekend and I will be able to work on Poison Garden next week. Yes, so excited. Um, that's it for today. I will check in with you tomorrow. We'll see if I can get those flowers done on cardinal points and start bringing that black line down to get to that corner and get that finished. I have so many people cheering me on on social media right now. Um, many of you, I'm so excited. I know you guys are as, as excited as I am. There's someone else, Kellyanne Abbott. She's on Instagram that way. I see, I I just realized I'm not even following her on Instagram. Um, and I don't know if she follows me here. So if you do, I'm super sorry. I just sent a request. Um, but I see her posts on Facebook. And she is... Um, I think we're about the same. She's probably a little bit ahead of me. We may finish this at the, like right around the exact same time. So that's super exciting to be finishing this up with someone else. Um, I, I don't know if she feels as excited as I do about that, but yeah. So anyway, we're getting close to finish y'all. Super excited and we'll see how I did tomorrow. Talk to you then. Bye. Hello everyone. It is Thursday, June 6th. And I cannot wait to show you the progress I made last night. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you already know I finished the whole border. I got it all done. I did not think I was going to get there last night, y'all. I, I, um, it was actually kind of late, I think, ish. Not so late for us anymore. It was like 1030 when I finished this flower. This one was already done. And I thought, oh good, I, I may have a little bit of time to, to stitch down. We're, we are binge watching um, Cardinal, uh, that TV series on Hulu, uh, and we really like it. And so we were like halfway through season three, and I was getting down into here, and my husband put on uh, another episode, and I was like, yes. Uh, so we stayed up till past midnight. Uh, but I got this whole thing stitched. It, it's it's done. Um, I honestly thought I'd be finishing this up tonight and starting to figure out um, a placement for this graph out placement for what I want to say. And um, I get to do that tonight. That's the first thing I'm going to do after dinner, actually during dinner. I'm going to pull out my graph paper. Um, try a few different things I've been rolling around in my head, um, see what fits best, and get that stitched. So I may get started on stitching uh, tonight and finish tomorrow. I'm not sure that I'll get it finished tonight because, you know, it takes time to graph stuff out sometimes and figure out what you want to do. But I am just thrilled to have gotten this far. And I looked back to see where I was uh, when I started this, May 31st, I had think I had just gotten this done and the pink, out, outer pink part of these flowers done, none of this stuff. And in five days, I just powered through that, y'all. I'm shocked. Because um, each page has been taken anywhere from seven to nine days. I, It's been pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, that's where I am um, today as far as teas go. I tried a uh, Republic of Tea Blueberry that um, Ann P of Fiber Floss and Fiction gave me. It was delicious. Um, only had time for one cup of tea today, so I didn't try it. Excuse me, I just yawned. Um, 
as I was saying, I only had one cup of tea. I didn't have time for anything else. And so my caffeine intake has been a little, um, a little, oh, and there's a gnat in here. I hate gnats. It's like, where'd that come from? Anyway, caffeine intake has been on the, the little side. So I'm actually going to go, um, it's five o'clock. I'm supposed to be getting dinner, um, done soon. So I'll probably um, make a cup of tea, um, and have that with dinner. It's a little bit odd because it did get warm like I expected. Um, I think yesterday was a hundred and I saw on the car temperature it was 104. My daughter messaged me and said she saw it was 107. I don't know where she saw that, but I wouldn't doubt it. Um, I should actually just look right now and see what it is out there on my phone. It says it's only 100 out there right now. Um, yeah, today is supposed to be 104. But, um, yeah, so it's a little warm outside and... Um, I, I feel a little tireder in the afternoons. The heat just sort of zaps my strength sometimes. Um, and I, I typically try to get another cup of tea in the afternoon, but I didn't, I didn't get that done today. I'm going to do that right now. So that's it for today. Um, we'll see how far I got tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow you will know for sure um, what I am going to put for the information part on the sampler. Um, and, and, I can finally stop rolling that around in my head and just be done with it. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking this is going to go end up going out to Trish by next week. I'm super excited to get this to her. I hope she loves it. I think she will. Um, and anyway, we'll go from there. So I'll check in with you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, everyone. Today is Friday, June 7th. And we have a finish. I feel like I need Oprah here or Olivia to be like, and we have a finish. You know what I mean? I had to say that kind of low because Brad would be coming in like, what are you doing right now? And I'm like being dramatic and singing. What, why are you asking? Uh, but I don't want to have that conversation. So that was a half-hearted Oprah. We have a finish, but I'm so excited. I'm like Oprah excited times 10 right now. Are you ready? Yeah, super jazzed with this one. I finished it last night. I can't remember when, I wanna say around 11.30. And as you can see, I decided simply to go with Sea Slaughter, stitched this at Lake Havasu, Arizona in 2019. Um, I really went back and forth with what to put here. Um, I was thinking of like Threads Entwined, Windsor, California for Trisha's shop. Um, and then thought if she wants to take this down out of her shop later, I'm, this is a gift for her. So I thought maybe, maybe it shouldn't have that kind of personalization. Maybe she would have preferred that. But um, also because it, I, its intended use is to be a shop sample, I wanted to keep it as close as possible to the what the chart says um except obviously we've talked about this so many times i can't fit my full name in there um and i couldn't fit lake havasu city um and i decided to change rot to stitched someone had mentioned that and the more i thought about it the more i preferred stitched the reason why in my mind this is just my opinion this is really a modern sampler and rot to me seems to go with more of the vintage or antique samplers even if it's um, uh, a new sampler done in the antique style rot works there in my mind um, and i prefer rot on those kinds of samplers and obviously reproductions um, that's what they used but to me this was such a modern sampler i i really felt like stitched needed to be there um, and so that's what I put and I'm just absolutely thrilled with how this worked out. I do want to say I stitched this. It's 36 count antique white linen, uh, from Zweigert. Obviously you got the orange stripe up there. 
and I stitched it one strand over two threads. Um, the called for was 18 count white Ada. This is the linen version of that, a uh, 36 count. Um, the flosses I have left, I have a lot. I have enough except for four different flosses to restitch the whole thing. Um, I'll show you the four and show you the flosses. Okay, when you get a skein of like Gast or Classic Color Works over dye flosses, um, actually, let me do it this way. You get 10 strands on the skein because it's five yards and they measure that out however they measure and um, probably half a yard per strand, okay? So I went and I knew that I needed at least five strands and by five strands, I mean five, five strands of six, um, you know, uh, uh, why am I not finding the right word? Six, that's one of my kids, six strands per length. How's that? Still one of my kids, Josh, got to finish this video up and go see what's up with Josh. Um, so. Okay, you think the sampler's all red, right? You think it's all about the red. Where's my thing? There is only one skein of red used in this. There's like a magenta and then a purpley color. This is how much red I have left. A lot, <laughs> a lot of red. Um, this sampler is green. There's so much green on this sampler. So the four colors I need to get more of, another skein, because. Um, I don't know if I started this off right. My mind's scattered. I'm going to be stitching this again next year. I need a bit of a break for me. Um, this one's going to Trish. The next one I do is going to be mine. I only need to buy four more skeins of floss. Raven, because obviously I use the black. Pine, which is right there. Spinach, I don't. I have five, five lengths of six strands left plus a little. Um, apple, green apple, I need to get more of. Um, that's like four and a half strands. It's not quite enough. And then tiger lily. But everything else, and of the white, the only white parts on here are right here in the dragonfly. I only use two strands. I don't know if that focused because I couldn't see. I only use two strands off of one length of floss for the white. So if you guys are getting this and you're having to buy your floss individually, I would highly recommend that you just go into your stash and use white there. Don't buy a whole skein of fancy floss for the white in the sampler. Mm -mm, don't do that. I got mine as a pack. It was the chart with the pack. So it's like you get the floss or you don't get the whole thing. Um, but I would recommend, no, you don't do that. Don't do that y'all. Just if you're buying your floss individually, your own white's good enough for real. Um, but anyway, I got plenty of floss to, to stitch this over again, and I'll probably still have some floss left over when I'm done. But the greens, I got three more greens and another black. So that's all I have to do to um, kit this up again. It's ready to go, really, is just get four more things of floss, another cut of linen. I may actually have a cut big enough, and I'm ready to go. So that was so much fun stitching this. I started January 27th. Um, I worked on it for seven days, picked it up again, worked on it for another seven days. I want to say in February, maybe March, um, and then picked it up for mania. The total stitching days I worked on this, I went back and I counted our 50 days. I got it done in 50 days. This week stitching y'all, I, I did not expect to get that done by yesterday, actually today, because I missed those stitches. But if I'd have noticed, oh, I didn't tell you. Um, I just posted, the, posted this on Instagram, but I didn't tell you. Okay, uh, Stitching Wendy, Eagle Eye Stitching Wendy, thank goodness, caught this. On this flower right here, I had forgotten to stitch the two little leaves things going off of it. And she caught that from my Instagram picture and messaged me um, and said, uh, she's trying to be really nice. I'm not sure, I think you may have missed it. You know, um, as you do when you message someone and you notice they may have made a mistake on the work, you try to be really careful because you don't want to be offensive. And she wasn't at all. And she even said, uh, 
you know, I hope this isn't offensive. No, thank goodness she saw that. I could have sent that off. It could be hanging on the wall, a big old glaring omission of stitches that everyone could see from here until forever or whenever Trish decides she's done with this. Uh, yeah, so I went back and I, I looked around all the border because someone else, I forgot who, but they caught that I had missed these little stitches uh, right here, these little, I call them bow tie stitches, um, but they're just like little leaves that go off the vines, but they look like bow ties to me. So <clears throat> I missed a bow tie up there and I went and made sure I got all the bow ties, all the other little leaves coming off the flowers. And I'm looking, I've been looking at this to make sure all morning I didn't miss anything. Um, oh, the other day I did notice that I had missed this little blue stitch going off that flower and it was missing for like a week before I caught it and fixed that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you know, I'm going to be looking at this thing off and on over the weekend just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, I have to say just really quickly, I had, I really enjoyed stitching this up for Trish. Um, I met Trish in person, we've chatted before online um, at Stitch Nanigans. Uh, you guys, she has the biggest heart. She is the kindest person and so generous. She has been so good to me, um, sent me so much stuff. It was my absolute pleasure and joy to stitch this up for her for the shop. I wish I could have had it done by the time the shop opening was done, but I was just stitching on other things and I didn't make it a priority like I should have. Um, and actually telling her at Stitch Shanigans this was gonna be for her actually motivated me to actually get this done. I mean, it probably could have gone back into the whip pile for another year, um, but I was able to get it finished for her. Um, speaking of her generosity, if you're on Instagram, um, she has a particular post. She has a sale code up for the month of June. Um, June is a big, important, special month for her. A um, lot of events going on in her life. I'd really like you to go just see the post so you can, um, you know, just see what she has to say. It's not lengthy. Um, but speaking of her generosity, I mean, she's got a good code up for anybody who wants to go to the shop. And I'm not going to put the code in the box below. I'm not going to tell you what it is because um, I'd like you to go see Trisha's Instagram account. Follow her if you're not because she's always got good information that she's putting up. It's at Threads Entwined. Um, and then go check out that post. And then if you're so inclined, go shopping um, on her website. And don't forget, International 750 flat shipping anywhere in the world. After my messing that up, I got it right. Yeah, so, um, you know, uh, I'm enabling here. Um, so, yeah, anyway, this was just such a joy to stitch for her. Um, if, if she ends up, I wasn't sure if I should finish it for her. I really thought a lot about that while I was stitching this. Um, and I decided, and Trish doesn't know this yet, but she will on Sunday if, if she watches this, I'm just going to send it to her to let her finish however she wants. Um, if she wants it framed, I, I don't know what kind of frames would com best complement the shop, uh, how she'd want it, um, so, uh, or if she just wants to, you know, mount it to like um, some, um, foam core and then just have it backed with something else. I mean, there's amazing ways you can finish things. I mean, just go look at Priscilla and Chelsea, right? Um, and Vanna, they're so creative with how you can finish things or if she'd want to put it in, sew it into a wall hanging or what, I'm just letting her decide how she wants to finish this, how best she thinks it would enhance her shop. Um, and so that's why I'm not gonna end up finishing it and sending it to her. Uh, I want her to have the freedom and flexibility to make that work best for her. And it's hers for life. Um, so yeah, if you happen to go into Threads and Twine in the future and see it, take a picture of yourself with it and send it to me. I'd love to see that. Um, or tag me on Instagram or whatever. Okay, tonight, no stitching. Um, I have sorely neglected comments on videos for like two weeks. I mean, I, I get to them on... Saturday morning because I, I got to get
prepped for the giveaway stuff. Um, but I like to do the, get to them in the evenings before I stitch and I just have been wanting to only focus my stitching on cardinal points. So tonight I'm going to catch up on all comments, emails, blog comments. I've neglected that. Um, I'm just going to focus on catching up on that kind of stuff. And then Saturday I'll be pulling out my chatelaine and start stitching on that on Saturday evening. So that's the plan. Next week we'll be talking about the chatelaine. I do need to stitch a little bit more on seize the day. I've, I'm completely behind. Um, I'm working on part three and I think part four has already been released. Um, part five's coming the 25th of this month so I got to get that done. Uh, so anyway, I will check in with you tomorrow and um, talk to you then. Bye. Hello everyone. Today is Saturday, June 8th, and I'm here to wrap up this week's video. Uh, I said yesterday I wasn't going to do any stitching because I need to catch up on video comments. Um, one statement was true and one was not. Uh, I did need to catch up on video comments and thank goodness I got them all done and caught up. Uh, I did do stitching. And the stitching I did was on cardinal points. Uh, I had packaged up yesterday. I had it all packaged, wrapped up, postage label printed on the package, ready to mail to Trish today. And last night, uh, someone had caught an error. I talked about that and I posted it that I had fixed it on Instagram and said, if anybody sees any other errors, let me know. And in my egotistical confidence. I was like, there's not going to be any. I looked it over. Someone found an error. Uh, and you, my pictures are still posted. If you go to Instagram, you can blow it up. You'll be able to see it. This flower right over here, I'd forgotten stitching on this row of stitching right there. So then I decide I'm going to look at all of the flowers and make sure I didn't miss any other stitching. Y'all, I had to fix eight flowers. Eight. Plus that one. Uh, this flower right here had one of the stitches. I didn't do the top leg on. Um, one of the flowers up here, I think this one, I didn't do one of the, I call them points, but that little stitch right off the top of the flower. I know that's blurry. Uh, let's see if it will zoom in or, you know, clear up. No. Um, I missed a point on this one. I missed a point on this one. These two had an extra stitch near their points. This one, this one, and this one all didn't have a point. And I believe there was this one down here didn't have one either. I don't remember if there was another one down here. I think it was just the one. Yes, all missing. I was was really like, I cannot even believe I did that. Thank goodness the ones where I had to rip out the stitches, uh, I think I had another one that I had to rip out. Maybe that's what I had to do over here. I had to rip out because this one had an extra one near the point. It, it had its point, I call them points, whatever, uh, but it had an extra stitch there. Um, thank goodness that on those three that I had to rip out, I had actually on that particular petal uh, ended up having to uh, start a new, um, I ended off my stitching there and had to start afresh, a new, whatever. So I was able to easily rip out and restitch those, but oh my gosh, I asked Brad to look that over today before I repackaged it for Trish and he looked it over really good. I made sure he washed his hands and I told him like he was five years old, you have to use soap. And he just looked at me like, yeah, because <laughs> I'm like, please don't touch my stitching unless you've just actually washed your hands with soap. <laughs> Whatever. Just had to make sure, right? When you let someone touch your stitching, you're like, dude, did you wash your hands with soap? Uh, anyway, so he checked it over. He told me today, I don't see anything wrong. Um, there are errors in the pattern. If you go to notice, look at the pattern, like these, um, these little things they're not the same two of them are are charted one way and the other two are charted a different way and 
Um, I ended up making all four of them go uh, the one way that I liked best. Um, there's error over in here, I think, somewhere in the leaves. There are errors in the chart, but when you get going and you notice the flow of how you know the repetitiveness you know you notice when something's a mistake but uh, I think just on those flowers I wasn't referring to the chart and a lot of the errors were up in this area so when I uh, you know up top there's just a couple down here but I think I just wasn't paying much attention so I'm super glad I caught that I'm gonna get that wrapped up I I'm talking in a hurry because the post office closes in an hour and a half and I got to get this video done I got to get this wrapped up I have two um, giveaways I haven't even mailed yet Mary Luden and Cynthia M your charts are going out today I totally fibbed to Mary Luden I promised her it would go out last Saturday and it, it didn't I just hadn't been to the post office and um, but I, I have packages going today they're all right there I got Trisha's I'm gonna package up and then yours and everything's going out today um, so I, I do I want to briefly share the teas that I had this week just because I haven't talked about them very much at all um, today I had it's Tazo Organic Peach Cobbler. Um, Seaweed Otter sent me this. It's delicious. I thought it was going to be overly sweet tasting, but it's not. It's just the perfect hint of fruitiness for me. I'm a fruit. I'm a fruity person. <laughs> apparently, I love fruit in my tea. Um, it, all of these are seaweed otters that I tried this week. Uh, except I, I did talk about the Republic of Tea earlier in the week. Blueberry that was from Fiber Floss and Fiction. Uh, one I had two nights ago, Taylor's Organic Chamomile. This stuff is amazing. I've never had such great chamomile tea in my life. This was delicious. Now, this one is a Hawaiian Islands Pineapple Waikiki Black Tea. I was nervous trying this one because I do not like warm pineapple anything. It just makes me go ugh. Like you hand me pineapple on my pizza and I'm gonna look at you like what monstrosity did you bring to my door? Because no, oh, um, pineapple upside down cake, pineapple on your ham, like when you cook it, ugh, what are you doing people? No, I love fresh pineapple, love it. Um, canned pineapple's okay, but there's nothing like fresh pineapple. So I really was nervous, like, am I gonna like this or not? I don't know. So I kind of put off tasting it till yesterday morning. I made this, it's delicious. Um, just a perfect hint of tropical fruitiness. Um, it, it wasn't overwhelming. I did not feel like I had mushy warm pineapple in my mouth. Um, it was just delicious. And she sent me two more tea bags, so yeah I'm excited to try those um, so those were my teas for the week I did get my papyrus cards in no I have not sent out my thank you cards I've really just been focused on trying to get bags made this week and um, get my stitching done and so now I feel like I have three more bags I have to make by Monday and by have to it's a self-imposed deadline because I need to start packing up my room next week so as soon as all that gets done I can sit down I can focus on being grateful and getting out thank you cards and then pack up this room. Uh, but anyway, these are from Papyrus. <sighs> should have taken the, oh my goodness, I should have taken the plastic off already. These are so pretty and they have glitter on them. Look at that. I don't think you can see the glitter very well, but it's, it's in the little pink flowers there. And just the inside's actually green, and it's a light enough green that I can write on it, and it's not going to be messed up. I didn't look at the envelopes on these, so I'm not sure that they're special. Oh, yeah, they are special. Um, just a little card, and then the flap is the coordinating green. So cute. And Papyrus, I noticed, sends little um, foil, their logo, the hummingbird. Um gold stickers so that's cool and this other one this one y'all screams christine it screams christine it's got some gold foil and it's a butterfly yeah 
It's this white blank inside. And look at these. The envelopes are really, really nice. Um, they're, their envelopes are, are thick and sturdy and just nice, not flimsy. But look at, the, oh, and it's like a coral color. And the paper is just slightly iridescent. I know you can't really see that, but oh, I love these. And one of you told me papyrus is at Target. You'll all probably be shocked and horrified to know I've not been to a Target in probably 10 years. Um, when I moved here, and I have a Target nearby. And it was a good thing because I could not go into Target and come out for less than $100 buying a whole bunch of stuff I did not need and didn't even want before I walked in there. So I'm grateful there's no Target around here except now. Um, now I want to hit their stationery section. Um, also, Trish told me in a comment on the last video that if you're looking for the Punch Studio cards, she got hers at Tuesday morning and she said for a fantastic price. So if you have a Tuesday morning near you and for some reason in this little small town, I actually do, um, go hit them up and see. And I'm probably going to choke when I go in there and see how much I could get a pack for in the store as opposed to having it sent from Amazon or bought off eBay. But whatever, live and learn, right? Okay, so um, let's do the giveaways. Uh, first off, Christy, Christy Donnie, D-O-N-N-A-Y, uh, you won this last week in last week's giveaway, the Jan Lynn Amazing Grace. So Christy, I haven't heard from you. Please message me. Okay, so Christy, please send me a message, christine.stitchallthethings at gmail.com so that I know... Um, so that I could get your address so I can send this to you. Um, otherwise I'm going to have to redraw next week and I don't really want to do that. Uh, you can also hit me up on Instagram at stitch all the things. Find me on Facebook. I'm Christine Slaughter. I accept all stitchy friend requests. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I actually do look at your profiles though to see if you actually stitch or craft of some sort um, because of Josh. Um, I, I have to make sure that you are legitimately wanting to be a crafty friend um, just for operational security for him. Um, so if I don't if you've sent me a friend request and I haven't accepted, just send me a message on Instagram or whatever and say, hey, that's me. Um, but I'm a little hesitant sometimes. Um, but if I can see right away that you're a stitcher or quilter, crocheter, knitter, crafter, whatever, I'll accept you. Um, okay, so yeah, Christy, find me. Send me a message with your address or next week I'm going to have to redraw. Okay, so this week we're going to do Holly Hobby. Uh, no... Yes, no, not this week. Last week's was for Holly Hobby. Put your words together. Um, I'm gonna do random number generator, but I'm gonna do it on Google because it's really weird. The other one on my phone always seems to pull up 10 first. Like I'll change the number and it always just goes to 10 and I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if there's some glitch or what. It doesn't always, but sometimes it, it just seems to hit just number 10 a lot. Anyway, um, we've got 20 people this week. So I am going to one, uh, I know it says 10 at the top. When you pull up the random number generator, it defaults to that. This is the Google one. And if you could see, I did one to 20 and I'm gonna hit tap generate. 20, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, who was 20? Crochet Darling. Uh, so Holly Hobby is yours uh, again. Hit me up, email christine.stitchallthethings at gmail.com or find me on Instagram or find me on Facebook. Um, and if you send it, what does Priscilla and Chelsea say? Two ways are better than one. Yeah. If you want to send all three a message, that's great. Just make sure I get it that way. Um, now this week's giveaway I mentioned earlier is going to be a little luck from Lizzie Kate. Um, I haven't got the beads yet, but I will. Um, I'll add more yellow beads to this. Um, and I will throw in my Weeks Dye Work Moss that I have left. It's bobbinated, though. Um, you only need, like, one strand of six, I think. Maybe two. Um, so there's plenty. I have plenty left to to of the moss to do this. The whole thing is charted in um, 
uh, Weeks Dye Works, I think. But you can, I use DMC for everything except moss because I happen to have moss. And they do give the DMC conversion. Yeah, it's all Weeks Dye Works. Um, but I'll throw in the moss I have left for you um, if you like that. Uh, so let's see. Um, have to be 18. I'm remembering. Uh, don't say giveaway. And I will ship anywhere. Uh, so just put luck somewhere in your comment. Um, not lucky, just luck. Uh, even if it's I just want to stitch luck, uh, that's, that's fine. Okay, so let's close this out. I'm 15 minutes in. My husband's going to come in here and be like, what are you doing? With, from Carrie in Australia, the little book of dumb feng shui. Let's see what today's is. <laughs> Toilets are very negativistic. Do not have one in your home. Listen, y'all, if you can have a toilet in your home, I don't care how negativistic it is, you need it. That's all for this week. I hope you guys have had a great weekend. Um, I had a great stitchy week, and uh, next week I will check in with you before we go. Um, this coming week is gonna be busy, full of packing. I will be working on um, my shadow laying. I'm not sure how often I'll be able to record during the week. I am going to do a mini whip parade and that's probably going to be when this room is filled with chaos as I decide one, what to take with me to Oregon and two, just want to go through my whips again. Um, so yeah, look for that in next week's video, little mini whip parade, Chatelaine progress and next week probably no giveaway because we'll, we'll be actually um, driving and so um, <clears throat> just in transition for a couple weeks. Um, also, uh, they may end up stopping until I can start getting settled and sew bags again because the the money I make from my bags goes to postage for the giveaways. And if I'm not making bags, I don't have money for postage. So um, that's just kind of how the cookie crumbles, right? Uh, so, so they may just be on hold until I can get set up and, and sewing again. So that's it. I'll talk to you next week. Thank you so much for being here with me today, for sticking through, watching the whole video. Um, if you did, um, for liking, subscribing, commenting, all of that, you know I appreciate it. Um, and don't forget, stitch all the things. <laughs>